If you want to learn how to raycast in Roblox Studio, just like I'm doing with this part right here, make sure to watch all the way through the video because I'm going to show you how I did this. All right, so today's video is all about raycasting, and uh, let's just, I'm going to jump right into it, no long intro. Uh, so what is raycasting first off? Raycasting is a way to, basically, you can think about it as just casting an invisible line, okay? So you're kind of shooting out an invisible line from somewhere, and you can check to see if that, if anything touched that line. So what we're going to go ahead and do to, to visualize this is exactly what I did in this. We're going to create kind of like a turret sort of thing. So you can actually look for a turret model um, if you want. And uh, let's just, I mean, I don't know that I'm going to do this right now. You can if you want, just make sure there are no scripts and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and create this like my own sort of turret, I guess. Um, that, that'll do. It's obviously not a real turret. Um, but I'm going to drag it up a little bit like I had in the example, and I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing. I want to change the surface of this. I want to change the surface because I want to see exactly um, which face is forward. As you can see here, I have this little hinge, uh, and that's just a way for us to know what our forward face is, so that's going to make sense in a second. Let's go ahead and name this turret part, okay? And inside this command bar, if you haven't used this before, it's basically a way to run commands in your game. Run code uh, without running a script, so you can run it while you're still editing. So we can say game.workspace.turretpart.frontsurface equals enum. So don't worry about this, we're not going to get into this um, today, but enum.surfacetype.hinge. So that's basically just going to make sure that there's a hinge on the front surface, okay? The front of the part is now going to have this hinge thing. So now we can see which way this part is facing. It's facing this direction, okay? Next, let's insert a script inside of this turret part. We'll go ahead and call this script turret script. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reference some... Well, let's actually put this in a while loop. So we'll say while wait to do. So every two seconds, I want to check. Uh, actually, let's just wait forever. So no no uh, amount... Actually, yeah, let's wait two seconds. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> so every two seconds, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, piece of code. And we're going to fire a ray every two seconds and check if something hit it. So what we can do for that is we can say... Uh, local position. So this is the position where the ray should start. In this case, it's going to be the part. Okay, it's going to be this part right here. We're going to start the ray at the center of this part, and we're going to shoot it out. Okay, so we'll say local position equals script dot parent dot position. Right, the turret's position. Next, we can say local direction equals to script dot parent dot look uh, c frame dot look vector so if you're new to c frame basically this is just saying okay the direction variable we're storing the look look vector in it which is basically just the direction the part is facing that's why i added this hinge here so we know which way it's facing and it's this way so uh we have this new vector that's showing us which way it's pointing okay if that makes sense hopefully it does so next we're gonna say local ray equals to ray with a capital R dot new. Okay, so on here, we're gonna say position. We're gonna start with the position and we're gonna say direction. And uh, we're gonna, so I'm gonna explain this in a second, but you're gonna do an asterisk, asterisk, something like that. I am totally pronouncing that wrong. I know I am, <laughs> but uh, that's gonna multiply it and we're gonna say 20. Okay, so we're gonna create a new ray starting at the turret's position, going forward. The way that the turret is looking, right, that's why we have this um, direction right here, the look vector, times 20, so it's going to shoot out 20 studs, okay? So if you think about it, studs are Roblox's way of, um, of measure, Roblox's measurement. So as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., etc. We have studs, so it's going to shoot out from the center 20 studs forward, okay? Next, we're going to create a blacklist. So basically, we can ignore parts using a blacklist. So we can say local uh, raycast params equals raycast params dot new. And we'll go ahead. Uh, actually, we'll say rc params so that we don't get confused with this right here. And we can say rc params uh, dot filter type 
equals enum dot filter type uh, dot raycast filter type dot blacklist. So basically, this is saying, okay, we're going to filter out um, anything in these raycast params using a blacklist, and that just means we're going to ignore anything uh, that we tell it to ignore. And now it's time, actually, above that, we're going to tell it what we do want to ignore. So RC params dot. So it's raycast params dot filter descendants instances equals, and then we're going to create a table. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and ignore uh, script.parent. We're going to ignore the turret, okay? You could also ignore a whole model, I believe. So you could say, uh, let's go ahead and put this inside of a model. This is my old one, and we'll call it turret model, okay? So we can ignore that as well. So we'll add a comma, and we'll say workspace.turret model. Okay, so we can ignore all that we want, okay? Um... And one other thing I like to do is say RC params dot fill, uh, dot water ignore water that's what it is ignore water equals true that way it just ignores any water you could set that to false and if you had terrain water it would just go straight through that uh, or it would not go straight through that but in this case I want it to go straight through water um, it doesn't really matter because we don't have water right now but that's a helpful thing to have so now we can down here where we have our ray we're gonna add in those params so we can add a comma after the direction and times 20 so where we're shooting out let's add one more comment and we're going to see rc params those are our parameters and um that's yeah those are our parameters so that we know um what to ignore and all that stuff okay that was totally my bad i just checked my notes uh it's been a little while since i raycasted so what we're actually going to do is say workspace colon raycast Okay, that's that's what you want to do. You want to say local ray equals workspace colon raycast with the position, the direction, all these. Okay, so um, ray dot new is not what we want. We want to say work, workspace colon raycast. So we're starting a ray inside of the workspace, um, if that makes sense. So make sure you have that there instead. Next, we can say if ray then so we know we've actually hit something so local part equals ray dot instance so the ray dot instance is whatever the part or whatever was hit by the ray so let's let's just go ahead and print uh part let's print what we hit okay here's the old script right here so if we run this okay it, you can see it says nil that means we haven't hit anything. Nil is just saying no, okay? So there's there's nothing. We haven't hit anything. But if I walk over here, you'll notice that we have left upper leg, okay? So um, it's kind of weird with, with parts on a um, character because they move around all the time. But as you can see, we have right upper leg. We have uh, all this stuff right here, okay? So we're printing what we hit. Uh, something I want to do is I want to go ahead and run this so that I can see if, uh, this worked and it's ignoring, uh, this, this model right here. So let's go ahead and move it up and over. And if we drag this forward, we should still see nil. Yep. So because we included this model on the blacklist, it's not registering it as something that it's, it's just shooting the ray right through it basically. Okay. So. That is working, okay? Now, we probably don't want to keep printing this every two seconds, but we can say if part.parent... Uh, actually, we'll just say if part then... So, if there's a part, then we'll say if part.parent colon find first child humanoid. So, if we find a humanoid inside of the parts parent, so like if there was a player in front of them, we would check to see if there's a humanoid inside of them. That's how we know that they're a character. So we can say part.parent.humanoid.health minus equals 10. Whoops, not minus, minus, minus equals 10. So we're going to do 10 damage every time a player walks in front of our ray. So that is actually it. Uh, we can, we see it's nil. Uh, if we walk in front of it, you can see, yeah, it's hitting me, and I'm doing damage. If we walk a little further, you can see it's nil now, and that's because we're too far. We're more than 20 studs away from the center of the part. But if we walk a little bit closer, you can see it's starting to do damage again. So that is raycasting. Let's go ahead and show, I'm going to show you now 
how you can do all the different directions, okay? So maybe you don't want to shoot from the, uh, the front, you maybe want to shoot somewhere else. So up here where we say look vector, let's go ahead and start by um, shooting from the back. The way you do that, there's no back vector or anything like that. So the way you do this is by saying negative script.parent.cframe.look vector. So if you add a minus there, it basically says the opposite direction. So what's opposite from forward, backward. So as you can see, if we come in here uh, and we walk right in front of this, it doesn't do damage anymore. And that's because we're shooting the ray from the back now. But if we come over here, it starts to do damage again. So that's how you do it from the back. Let's go ahead and do it from the right now. So for this one, let's go ahead and get rid of the minus. And we're going to change look vector to be right vector, okay? So that is going to be this way, right? On the right of the part. So it's going to shoot out that way. If you had guessed how to do left vector, it's the same as with back vector. You just do minus right vector, okay? So the opposite of right is left, so you do negative right, the, the script up parent to see from the right vector. The last one is up vector. Okay, and this one's interesting. Uh, well, I mean, it's not super interesting. It's just how it works. Um, you do up vector, and if I stand on the middle of the part, as you can see, it is now damaging me because it's shooting up. Uh, and now it's nil once again. So, uh, if we go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and disable the script inside of the turret model because it's starting to print things. This was for the beginning of the tutorial. And last but not least, to shoot it down, we can say negative up vector. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and scale this down. Okay. And up, or not up, but like that. And as you can see, now it's start, going to start shooting down. So if you walk under this platform... When it ray casts, um, it's going to do damage. So let's go ahead and walk through. If we stand here for a second from the middle, as you can see, we are getting hit. So it that's, that's the thing with rays. It shoots directly from the middle of the part. So if I were standing like over here, it wouldn't do any damage, right? But that's how rays work. Uh, and ray casting, as you, uh, you can probably tell that it'd be helpful if you had like a weapon and you wanted to shoot forward from where the weapon is sh uh, shooting. You can ray cast and see if uh, we hit a part. And if so, you can do damage. That is ray casting in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, make sure you like that video. Leave a comment telling me what you enjoyed and uh, what I could change for the future. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to all my Patreons who are up on the screen right now. I really appreciate you guys so much. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.